Hello kindergartners. We have been reading stories about the three little pigs. We read this one, the three little pigs, which is the original three little pigs. And then we read this one, the three little wolves and the big bad pig. And today we're gonna to be reading the story called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. So this must be the one that, that is, they say is actually real, that these ones, they're not real. This isn't actually what happened. So we're going to try to see if we think that this wolf is telling the truth. All right, let's read this story. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in once upon a time time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold and I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now this neighbor was a pig, but and he wasn't too bright either. He built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? A ma I mean, who in their right mind would build a house of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into somebody else's house. So I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? Nobody answered. I was just about to go home without a cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole house, straw house, fell down right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig. He had been home the whole time. Well, it seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw. So I gobbled it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little bit better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house and this neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the stick house and nobody answered. I called Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And he yelled back, go away wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. And I huffed and I puffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I, I sneezed, a great sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. And when the dust cleared, there was the second little pig. Now, you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had a dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little bit better. And I still didn't have a cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. The first guy was, this guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have had the brains of the family. He built his house of bricks. I knocked on the brick house, no answer. I called Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that little guy sa said? He said, get out of here, wolf, don't bother me again. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar and he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. 
I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, and your old granny can sit on a pin. Now I am usually a calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little bit crazy. And when the cops drove up, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner and they figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all of that huffing and puffing and blowing your house down. And they made me the big bad wolf. That's it. That's the real story. I was framed. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar. Oh boy, so the wolf is saying, no, I didn't really huff and puff and blow those houses down. I just had a cold. Now, my question is, do you believe him or do you not believe him? So you're going to get this piece of paper out and we're going to write if you believed him or not. All right, so you are going to write, I think he told the truth, or I do not think he told the truth. So what do you think? Do you think the wolf was telling the truth or not? And I want you to write that right here, that you think he told the truth or he wasn't telling the truth. Do you think this is the real story or do you think this was the real story? Then down here, I want you to draw and color a picture of your favorite part of the story. All right? So this is what we're going to be doing today for our reading. Go ahead and write what you think. Do you think he was telling the truth or do you not believe him? What do you think? Go ahead and do this and then post a picture of it on Seesaw.